So please don't wake me up Please don't wake me from this nightmare Hey guys, Ads here again, and uh, I'm back doing another top three places to base in Gmod. Uh, God, you noisy bridge. You are so noisy, bridge. Be quiet, bridge. I'm sorry about that. It's, it's, it's just annoying. Uh, I hate that when I play on this server. It's like one of my pet hates on this, <laughs> on this map. Um, but anyway, yeah, so welcome back. And uh, this is my top three places to base in RP underscore Evil Melon. Hope you enjoy. So at the number three spot, guys, we have these two little um, kind of like little like estate houses. Uh, I know it's kind like, it's kind of cheating because it's two bases, not one. But uh, eh, you know, it's kind of one. I mean, they're both pr like pretty similar, apart from this one's slightly bigger than this one. Um, even though I actually more enjoy that one more than that one. Um, but yeah, they're opposite the hospital, so they're easy to find. And uh, it's kind of a big communal place here, so a lot a lot of people walk by, so that's a lot of kills when they try and raid you. And uh, you may have already seen some of my builds um, for this one, but I'm not sure if you have. I can't remember if I uploaded that. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, the reason why this is number three is um, because it's they're really good places to, be to build, but... Um, they can be really cramped, so it, it, they can really only fit like up to three players in each of these. Maybe like four or five in this one, but really just three in this one. Um, especially if you're going to build long lengthways, um, so kind of like building out like long. So if you were going to have like a load of um, a load of these coming out like that, and you're building out here, so you could shoot down this bit. Uh, then that really only leaves you with this space here, and then, you know, you'd be lucky to fit three in. So what I do, I just kind of build widthways, so, um, I'll build length, like, along the width like that, so you could just peek here, shoot, come back, peek, shoot, yeah. Um, so yeah, they're, they're really good bases, and they're really fun to base in, you could even, like, like display your printers just to, like, taunt the raiders a little bit. Uh, so the windows are quite cool, or you could just barricade them, um, but it's up to you. So that's really why they're at number three. They're really good bases, but they're just too small. Um, but yeah, so on to number two spot. So I'm here at the number two spot, and uh, some of you might be pretty surprised that I've chosen this at number two, because as some of you know, um, my large uh, unraidable base is built on this base here. And that's uh, that's mainly because I just think this little courtyard area offers the best, like, location for that sort of base. Um, but I'll get onto my number one spot and how that betters this one. Um, so anyway, if we go inside here, as you see, it is a warehouse and it is massively spacious in here. Um, you could have, I've had up, to, I've had 14 players on here at once, I think. Um, yeah, so 14 entire like, whole players on here. Um, I've had people basing around here, people basing in this little room here, which makes quite a good little like lookout place. You could put like a window there. Um, and I've had people make printer things on the top of here. Um, it, it's been, it's a wicked place to base, especially if you've got a, like an organisation of people or a group of people on. And um, not only that, you can have the defences that you see in the video that I'm going to annotate on the screen now. Um, and basically, I built that base in that video here because you can like walk up the like little defense, and there's like a window about where I am now, and you can just shoot out of that, and that's really quite fun to do, as well as like shoot through little windows at the sides when they try and break in. It's so fun, and I really recommend this base. Um, but anyway, on to number one, and we'll see how it be how it betters this one, and the number one spot. We're gonna do the dramatic reveal. Hey. So yeah, we haven't moved far. We've gone from here to here. Um, and I know, like, it seems very odd that I'm choosing this warehouse over that warehouse. Because that one's obviously the more, like, well-known and bigger warehouse. Um, but I'll show you why I like this one. Okay. So, not only can you get cars in here if you really want cars in here. Um, but I normally block them up anyway. Um, but... First of all, you've got a pretty large um, space, a fairly decent area for people to get their stuff in, like make printer shelves and stuff. Um, I've had about, I think the max I've had in this one is about eight 
eight or nine maybe maybe seven i'm not sure somewhere around that mark and um so while people are down here doing their printer things some people climb up this ladder to about halfway and i normally make like a platform like where this door is where the top of this door is so they can walk on that and like shoot from above i get some guys going up the top to these windows and the good thing about these windows is oh apparently they don't work with these types of weapons but maybe if i get a different type of weapon um uh do i even have m9k apparently i don't but let's see if the bow does it nope the bow doesn't do it but yeah uh trust me guys these windows do break oh yeah there you go i thought i'd get it eventually yeah that's really annoying so yeah these windows break so um and like you're really dark to them so down here because it's such a dark background you look really dark so they can't really see you so you can just perch here and if there's any cops or like gangsters walking by who are like look shifty to you you can just you can just light them up and um if they try and get an admin you can just say well he tried to raid my base um and uh yes they're they're really cool shooting windows and i think they're slightly better than the man-made ones because um, in the man-made ones, you can sometimes get done for fading door abuse because um, you don't hold like your button for like however long it is like to not fading door abuse. Whereas these ones, uh, the windows actually regenerate uh, around the two or three minute mark, I believe. Maybe five. I'm not sure. Somewhere around that mark as well. <laughs> um, and yeah so they regenerate so you can just uh, shoot and once they regenerate break the glass again shoot and you can't d get done for fading door abuse, so that's really cool and um it's also quite tall this base so you can have like a platform halfway up so you can effectively double the area where you can um like put printers and stuff so i really really like this base really recommend it to people who play on this uh, map and so yeah that does it for my top three um please post your top threes in the comments below um, I'm really interested to hear what your opinions on this map are, and uh, if you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful or entertaining in any way, then please leave a like, um, as it really does help me, um, as it gives me really positive feedback and inspires me to make more videos for you guys. Um, so yeah, that was my top three places to base on um, RP underscore Evil Melon. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.